everybody, welcome to the show. On this episode, we have Rob Brynick, who is very handy, owns a sailboat, used to be a science teacher, and plays the piano. And I know you're all thinking, didn't you already do Rob Brynick? Well, this is his dad. You guys ready to start the show? Let's get started. So, hey, Rob, how are you? I'm doing fine, Will. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad to be here as well. I just got these questions here. You want to roll through them? Uh, that would be great. Okay, well, where did you teach when you were a teacher? Okay, there is a school district in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. called Central Bucks School District, and they have a couple schools and they named them after Indian names. And so the one school I taught was called Unami and the other school was called Tamanant. Cool. What was your favorite part about teaching? Uh, my favorite part about teaching was uh, making the students think. Like I would give them a problem and then give them some clues and hints and they'd have to figure out the answer. And sometimes it might take them a couple days, but they would get like all excited and then it was just so neat when they finally could figure out the answer. They were so proud of themselves and I was too. That's really cool. What was the craziest thing that ever happened in a classroom? Like, Oh you know. boy, are you ready for this? Yes, I there, think so. <laughs> There were a lot of crazy things, but there's one really thing that remember, I remember. We were doing something with magnets and electricity. Mm -hmm. And I had a horseshoe magnet. And it was big enough that I could hold on to it. And uh, so I, I used the magnet and I picked up some bolts and nuts and stuff. And But then I had a pipe on the desk that was heavier mm -hmm. and the magnet wouldn't pick it up. So I said, well, if I make this an electromagnet, wrap wire around it and hook it up to a battery, it'd make right. it stronger. So I did that and I picked up the pipe and the kids were like, oh, wow, that's really cool. And they said, can you pick up something heavier? And I looked around and the only thing I could see was a desk chair that was made of metal. And I thought, well, this is pretty heavy, but I'll try it. So I took the magnet over and I clunk grabbed on the chair and I thought, okay. And I pulled up, chair didn't move. Pulled up some more, the chair, and I thought, boy, this is heavier than I thought. So I really hunched over and I'm pulling up and the magnet let go and I went and hit my head. I thought, oh, that was pretty stupid. So I was trying to be cool, you know, and I said to the kids, well, obviously the chair is a little too heavy for this magnet. But if I just take it, and I looked at the kids and they were all looking at me, like their eyes were like wide like this in her mouth. And I thought, what's wrong with them? And then I saw little red drops on my desk. And I looked at it and I thought, this looks like blood. I wonder what had happened. The magnet came up and hit me right here and cut me and blood was running down my nose, which I couldn't see, but they saw it. So they were like, uh, and then it was dripping on the, on the desk. So then I put my hand up on my head and of course smeared the blood all over my face and it looked really bad. So that was like one of the craziest things. Huh, I thought you were gonna say that somebody poured hot water into liquid nitrogen and created a giant cloud, but that's really crazy too. Yeah, well, we did that too, but yeah, yeah. this one was crazier. Cool. <laughs> well, I um, hear that you can play some musical instruments. How many can you play? Well, I can play the piano and the pipe organ, the baritone horn, um, the double B flat bass horn, that's that big one that wraps around, you know, the big one, um, guitar, and I made a banjo and a dulcimer that I have to learn how to play yet. Huh, 
that is really, um, really interesting. Um, when did you start playing piano? Well, I started taking piano lessons when I was six years old. I took piano lessons between six and 12. And then when I was 12 years old, our minister's wife gave me lessons on the pipe organ from 12 to 14. And then I've been playing ever since. Wow, that's really, really, really interesting. Can you tell us a little bit more? Tell you a little bit more. Well, um, one of my, I can tell you what my favorite songs are. Okay, sure. Um, my favorite song to play on the piano is something called Malaguena, which is a flamenco kind of piece of music by a Spanish composer. And favorite piece of music for the pipe organ is the Toccata and Fugue in D minor by Johann Sebastian Bach. And they made a movie called Phantom of the Opera and they use that music in that movie. And so whenever people hear that music, that's what they think of is the Phantom of the Opera. Cool. I know you are very handy. What projects have you been working on lately? Well, I painted our bedroom and closet. Um, I'm working on my little 64 Rambler convertible. Um, I spent a lot of time sanding and varnishing some hatches for the boat and uh, planting our vegetable garden. Wow, that's actually really interesting. And like you just said, I hear you have a sailboat. That's what right. What is your favorite part about sailing? Well, there's two favorite parts. First, first part is when you have a nice breeze and it's a sunny day and you're sailing along and it's absolutely quiet. There's no motor and you're moving just from the wind. It's just really cool. And then the other cool thing is when at night, when you go into a nice little cove and you anchor and then you spend the night um, while you're on the anchor and then you can see the sunset, that's really nice too. Wow, that's really interesting. And that, that sparks another question. Where have you gone on your sailboat? Oh, well, we bought our sailboat in Boston and we sailed down by Long Island, down the coast of New Jersey, up the Delaware Bay and to Delaware City, which is where we keep the boat. And then most of the time we go through the canal, the Chesapeake Delaware Canal, to go over into the Chesapeake Bay. And we've been to Baltimore and Annapolis and St. Michael's um, in the Chesapeake Bay. Wow. That is actually really interesting. I did not know that. Oh, is there okay. any other interesting thing that you have done really in general, not just with the sailboat, you know? Interesting things like in my whole life? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, I was in the army and they made me into an MP, military police. Um, we've taken a lot of neat family vacations to a dude ranch, um, to uh, Hawaii and Mexico and the Caribbean. Um, we visit a lot of national parks, Yellowstone and Glacier and Sequoia and Great Smoky Mountains. Um, let's see. Oh, and most of my life I've, I've enjoyed hunting deer. And besides eating the venison, which is really good, um, I took the deer skin and turned it into leather and then made things out of leather, like um, oh, a ukulele case, uh, a leather bound journal, some um, moccasins, some gloves, a uh, steering wheel cover. Oh, and I was in Boy Scouts and got to be Eagle Scout and we had an Indian dance team. And I made my whole Indian regalia outfit out of the deerskin leather 
from the deer I got. Wow, that's a lot. And wow. that's very interesting. I've always wanted to go to Yellowstone National Park. What was it like? Yellowstone is really cool. It's big. Um, it's still pretty wild. It, you can see bison and you can, you can actually get a glimpse of a wolf now and then. Um, the geysers are really nice to be able to see the water, the steam pouring out of the ground. Um, it's just really beautiful. It's in the mountains and uh, summer's the best time to go. But it, you would really enjoy it. Yeah, well, that's really awesome. Um, and I think that's all the questions that I have. So thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thank you so much for having me, Will. <laughs> You're welcome. And that is a wrap on Will Talks episode four. Everybody, thank you for watching. And if you want to be interviewed, post your name and why you should be interviewed in the comments below. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>